So today we'll be discussing a very important topic in information retrieval that is called relevance feedback. So the motivation of relevance feedback is uh, the retrieval models that we have discussed so far in this course, such as language model, BM25 or TF-IDF model, they all work based on basically matching of keywords. But it can be the case that the document, I mean, in the document, there is a term like vehicle. And in the query, the term is say car. So although they are talking about the same concept, as in the document, the term is vehicle. This is a document. And as in the query, the card, the term card is used, although they are synonymous, will not be getting a keyword match. So this is a very popular problem limitation of these keyword matching based retrieval models, which is known as vocabulary mismatch. And this vocabulary mismatch can actually lead to very bad retrieval performance. So also, it might be the case that the information need is, I mean, the user uh, is not that much familiar with the topic so that he was unable to formulate the correct query from his information need. That's why he is not actually aware of what type of data he is actually looking for. He is not aware of that. So considering that, the query will be very broad. And the resultant list of document, as we have discussed, following some retrieval model like BM25, TF-IDF, or uh, language model, the relevant document might not be retrieved at all. So at some point also one important aspect is needed, which is let's say we are being returned by a retrieval model, some set of documents, say D1, D2, D3, and they are particularly of particular types. So let's say I'm searching with the term Python. So let's say the first document is, is for the Python snake. The second document is for Python programming language. And the third one is some character in some fictional story. In fictional story where the name of the protagonist is say python so in this type of case it sometime we may need to see some more document based on particular topic note that here there are different topics like t1 is a topic related to snake t2 is a topic related to programming language t3 is a fictional some some other topic so as Python is an ambiguous query, so ambiguous query is basically a query which is having multiple senses. That is, it is associated with multiple topics. In this type of a case, we might be, I mean, it, it might be the case that the information need is for programming language and we want to see more documents on programming language based on Python. So find me similar documents, this kind of an operation. Uh, we need to have some, I mean, we need to have some mechanism to address this kind of a, an additional, this kind of an uh, additional uh, input other than the simple query. So here there are two inputs. One is the query, the keyword. Together with that, there is another additional input that find me similar document of this type or of this type or of any other type. So a solution 
for all this situation or taking care of all this limitation of the retrieval the basic keyword matching based retrieval model is to basically try making a better representation of the information need a better representation of the information need note that the information need is transformed into a keyword query right containing say two or three terms in most of the cases in, 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 in keyword based search <clears throat> so here <coughs> as we are <coughs> using this keyword matching based approach in order to overcome those limitations we, what we can do is we can try to make a better representation of that information need one of the way to make this kind of a better representation is by expanding the query what is expand expansion of a query is basically let's say the query is containing say three terms say q1 q2 q3 what we'll be doing is so basically this has been generated for from some information need this has been generated what we'll be doing is we will be adding add more terms more basically important terms to this query so that it reflects the information need in 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 a, in a better way so that is such that the query is a better representation of the information need so again query expansion so from this if we expand the query if we make an eq from q it will be basically most of the cases it will be basically containing this three q1 q2 q3 as well as some other terms which are added additionally into the query so the main issue is how to select these additional terms and as we have discussed different terms will be having different importance right so all the expansion terms that we are adding uh, will not be containing will will not be carrying the same weightage will not be containing will, will not be carrying the same importance so we need to set the importance of those expansion terms accordingly so these are the two issues that we should be uh, keeping in mind while uh, making while trying to make this better representation of the information need using relevance feedback now let's look at the relevance feedback in a graphical way so this was the graphical representation of the information retrieval system as we remember this is the input to us this is basically the input uh this is also basically the input the query the keyword query this is basically the responsibility of the retrieval system to make first it index this is the indexing and this is basically using this this is basically the retrieval a set of documents are retrieved and that set of documents are returned back to the user who came to the retrieval system with this query this was the information retrieval scenario in a graphical way now in case of relevance feedback what we do is we ask the same user to notice here to mark some of the documents as a feedback stage some of the documents as say relevant some of the documents as say non relevant these are the relevant documents let's consider and let's consider these are basically the non relevant documents so in relevance feedback we ask the user or the information retrieval system asks the user 
to mark some of the documents as relevant and some of the documents as non relevant and using this information together with the index it use uh, i mean it, it it basically make a feedback model the feedback model uses this information as well as it uses the index as well the existing information stored in the index considering these two this feedback model which is at some point it is similar to the retrieval model but it is not actually performing the retrieval it is just setting some term weights based on their importance based on those important terms that this feedback model is considering to be important to be relevant to be uh, much more having the capability of discriminating relevant document from the non relevant one this feedback model actually formulates a new form of the query so initially the query was say q1 q2 q3 when the query is submitted to the retrieval model we discussed that the corresponding weights of the individual qis are also set based on their importance similarly this feedback model reformulates again the query by adding some more terms in most of the cases for query expansion it basically makes an eq from q which is basically an expand expanded query which is basically a set of again some terms together with their weights so basically it will be basically containing some qi together with its weight weight of qi then say qj then weight of its weight uh, weight of uh, or important of this query term not this expansion term and so on like that some terms are selected together with their weights and weights are basically indicative of their importance how important they are uh, in order to perform the search together with this so after formulating this formulated query this has been again submit this will be submitted to the retrieval model again the retrieval model will be basically re returning a new set of documents with the expectation that when this will be returned back to the user the user will be much more happier that is this result will be uh, much more uh, precise and much more better than the earlier result that we were getting using the first phase retrieval so the basic idea in short for relevance feedback is user issues a query you the search engine returns a set of documents based on this queue and those documents are returned back to the user and the users were asked to mark the documents as relevant and non relevant then the search engine again use again use this relevance feedback which is basically the marked set of document as relevant and non relevant together with the collection statistics that is the index to formulate a better representation of the information need and using that better representation basically the reformulated query the search engine again performs a retrieval so there are two retrievals this is the first retrieval this is the second retrieval using this second retrieval the new set of document that will be returned by the second retrieval is hopefully be having a better recall and in most of the cases it is also seen that it will also be uh, increasing the precision as well but it is almost always true that the recall will be increased anyway recall is increased recall will be increased means more number of relevant documents will be returned in say top 10 or top 100 rank okay so this iteration i mean this thing can actually be repeated more than once like using this this set of documents again the user can be asked to basically mark some of the documents as relevant 
some of the documents as non relevant and again using that those marked documents the feedback model can again reformulate the query and again can perform another retrieval with the expectation that it will be actually improving the performance further so we can actually iterate this step of relevance feedback more than once. 